Welcome back to Los Brown everyone. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the best pizza doughs that I've ever made. It's a 48 hours growth with 100% bigger and 70% of hydration. I know many of you were waiting for this pizza dough, especially you, Alex. So let me make this pizza dough for you guys. Okay, so the first step for our pizza dough is pretty simple. We're gonna need 135 milliliters of water. 100 grams of uh, double zero flour, 100 grams of soy flour, or if you wish you can change it with the uh, wholemeal flour. Next we're gonna need uh, 100 grams of one zero flour, two grams of dry yeast. If you want to use the fresh one, you'll just have to double the weight. And a little bit of Brazil. So we'll place the yeast first of all. And we'll give it a little stir, as so. Double zero flour. Soy flour. One zero flour. We'll mix all these together for about four minutes. For me it looks good. We'll take it out. And we'll place it here. Take everything out. You see, it comes out in little pieces at so. We place the basil inside so that for the next 24 hours this dough it will gain all the perfume from the basil. I leave it to rest from 16 to 18 degrees. You can leave it even at room temperature, but that's my preferred temperature. So I'll see you in 24 hours. 24 hours later. So now the magic will happen guys. After we kept it for 24 hours at a temperature from 16 to 18 degrees in my case but in your case you can keep it at room temperature it should nearly double the size now we'll take out the basil if you want to keep it inside it's up to you but uh, I prefer to take it out and look at these guys You see? I'll try to do it with one hand. We'll take it all out. And the final ingredients that we're gonna need is 70 milliliters of water, 2 grams of sugar, 10 milliliters of olive oil, 10 grams of salt, and last we're gonna need 10 grams of milk powder. All these ingredients will give it the perfect taste that we are aiming for. So let's start with the ingredients. I'll use the sugar. 
straight into the water. Place it all inside. Next, we'll place the salt. milk powder and we leave the olive oil for later on now we're gonna place this head for about five to six minutes and then we'll change for this one for another four to five minutes we'll start a little bit slower As soon as you see that there is no more water inside, we place the olive oil. I use around half of its uh, full speed.
Ok. As soon as you see that it becomes all one piece, stick this head out and we'll place the second head. Okay. And leave it for another four to five minutes at the same speed. Okay, I guess that will do it. Now we'll place a little bit of olive oil on our hands so we can manage the dough. We'll take it all out. As you can see, this is the result. We'll split it into two portions. And we'll start forming it into a ball shape. As you can see, it's nice and round. See, nice and round. Now we'll place our dough balls here. We close it. And this time we're gonna put it into the fridge for 24 hours. Mm. Do -dum, do -dum, 
뚜둥 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 따라 So, as I was saying, shape your dough into pizza balls, place it into the fridge for another 24 hours and see it for yourself if this is one of the best pizza doughs you've ever tried in your life. See you in 24 hours where I'll be making a pizza and show you how my dough came out. Okay, so after 48 hours my friends, well in my case is after 60 hours to be honest i could not film earlier but don't worry because this kind of dough can um, can go on for even more than 70 hours and uh, now i'm gonna make a pizza for you guys to see how our dough came out we're gonna make a simple margarita because that is how i usually taste the dough better that is how i feel all the flavors so uh, anytime I want to try something new, I always go with the basic, which in this case is a margarita. So follow me. Use just a little bit of semolina flour to take it out. Il vetro non è il marmo. Okay. Maybe. It is a little bit sticky, but don't worry about it because we're gonna fix it in just a couple of seconds. It's very soft and very easy to stretch. So be careful, do not press too much because otherwise you can uh, break it. Okay, follow me. It's very fragile and very soft, but it will it will come out very nice and soft and crunchy on the outside. We've just used a little bit of mozzarella, buffalo in this case. Follow our pizza, okay? Buonasera. Vai, vai, vai. Firma. Bravo, come sempre. Okay, so if you do second. Okay. So as you can see, this is our final result. I don't think it needs uh, more basil than this because uh, the taste is, it should be very strong. I just used it for the for the color, just to give it a little bit of uh, more color. So guys, as you can see, this is our final result. I'm sorry that you cannot be here next to me to, to try it. I can assure you that this is one of one of the top, one of the best pizza dough that I ever made. So uh, please try it at home and let me know into the comments if you liked it, if there's anything else that you would change in it. But um, hopefully you you like the ingredients that I chose. And um, just remember, you can use it for two or three days, so it will save you. Um, uh, the time in which you you're spending always to make every time when you do so if you want you can make one of these 
and use it, uh, as I was saying, for two, three days. In my case, uh, this was just for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy it. To be honest, for me it's perfect, so uh, I just hope that you, you try it for yourself at home and let me know into the comments if you like it or not. But for now, I just want to say thank you and until the next time from Rosbrano, bye bye.